right, what is going on, guys? It is Adam A.K. Marf, and this is Marfugal News. Today, we're going to talk about a press briefing that just went down. We actually mentioned this yesterday. Uh, this actually got pushed back a day for us because of the crazy huge earthquake that happened in Taiwan. Uh, but this was this is something that is an obvious sign that a war is coming. Uh, this is a very fast in, uh, I- I- integration of basically commercial interests into uh, military ones and the government working directly with companies. We're going to show you some recent stories and some recent uh, changes that they've made even to classification systems so that they could open the doors, cut the bureaucratic red tape to hurry up things for a future war. So we'll cover that and the Department of Defense commercial uh, commercial space integration strategy. Uh, we'll go over that. First, though, I do want to remind you guys we're completely independent. We uh, definitely have warned you guys about, of course, EMP. If you want to go protect your vehicles, your trucks, your motorcycles, your boats, definitely go through and go over to marfuglenews.com slash EMP and make sure to use the code MARF. You'll save $50 off on an EMP shield. This is a device that can protect every one of those devices, even your home, ham radio, generators, uh, against not only an EMP but a CME or a Carrington level event from the sun. Uh, but it will also end up helping us out at the same time. Uh, this is very easy to put into your vehicle. It's red to red on your battery, black to black on your battery, green to ground or part of your frame, and then you're done. Just bolt it into the side of your engine block, and you are protected. That way your car is going to run when no one else's does. Uh, go over to marfuglenews.com slash EMP. Same company has contracted with agencies like DHS, DOD, and now on the Dempso team helping the Texas grid. So go check it out. Again, thank you guys for doing so. But more so, make sure to subscribe and then hit that notification bell. That is your agreement with the platform saying, hey, I want to watch this channel. I don't want you to decide what I want to watch. I'm going to click that to all. And that means I want to see every single video. So if you can, please do click that and share our our stuff out with somebody new. Uh, That's the only way we're spread at this point. So thank you guys. Uh, Let's bring in my co-host slash internet brother, Dex James. What is going on and how are you doing today? Well, hello, Adam, and hello, Fugle fam. I'm doing just fine. So, first of all, this this got spurred on. Um, I ended up, for, for some reason, uh, this was suggested to me. It was like in my browse features when it was live. There was actually a, uh, a press conference with the gentleman from the DOD. In fact, you can see him over on the right uh, talking about this. And most people would not even blink an eyelash to this. They would not even think about this twice. They would say, oh, commercial space integration strategy. Uh, there's this, obviously, you, you hear that and you go, uh, okay, who cares? Uh, but again, they are integrating commercial companies and they're doing this in in every part of this in uh, essentially, they, they want to do it fast. They, they want to uh, innovate. They want to get a protection up. Uh, they're talking about defense of our planet. Uh, they talk about nuclear weapons, weapons of mass destruction, all sorts of things once you, uh, you know, lift up the, the veil on the very top. So this is a very serious thing. And uh, we'll also go over in here in a second about uh, different bills and things that went through that basically change how our system actually works. Uh, Dex, when you saw this, it, we we both looked through this and we were like, this is all a bunch of jargon to kind of hide that they are integrating uh, several things and they're integrating them it, like right now, like instantly. It's clear that uh, they're they're looking for a fast faster way to com- um, to leverage commercial commercialized speed, if you want, if that's a term. But the fact that it's it's been proven already that the commercialization of space moves so much faster than the government has moved in space. So they're looking at this from a, mil- a military point of view. How can we tap into that speed and give us what we need? as quickly as possible because they have that not just a want there's an absolute need here for it and the person who was speaking uh was uh dr john f plum the um i think he's the assistant secretary of defense for space policy 
Yeah. So and, and it, it, even the the reporters there didn't really quite understand half of what was going on. Uh, it, this was a highlighted part. There is an inherent risk in commercial space integration, purchasing commercial solutions instead of designing purpose built government systems may present trade offs between speed and fielding a capability and the security of that system. They're straight up saying uh, in the in the front of this that, yeah, this is basically for speed. Yeah, we might trade off that, you know, maybe that the security won't be that tight, but we'll have it really, really fast. They're straight up saying that and they're saying it in a jargon that 99 percent of people will be like, oh, yeah, OK, who cares? It says, uh, second, we will achieve achieve integration prior to crisis. Third, we will establish security conditions that promote integration. Fourth, we will support development of new commercial uh, space solutions. So, again, there's there's tons of stuff here as far as resilience. Commercial solutions leveraged by the department must be resilient themselves, particularly against cyber threats. Now, they also mentioned about how mass, weapons of mass destruction are now different. Again, it, the the... the landscape has now changed uh we have talked about emp we've talked about all of these things for now five years now everything is catching up obviously the 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 groups and communities and preppers have been looking at possibilities for years and years and years and it's not like you're throwing everything against the wall and seeing what will stick it's like there's three different scenarios that are really uh, very obviously happening right now, and they've been happening for, if not years, for decades. Uh, and that is a coming war, as a as far as a world war. It's it's the fourth turning type of thing. Uh, you've got solar events, which we've known for decades and decades. I mean, it's solar cycle 25. It's going to hit the maximum in, in 2025. They're preparing for things like this. And again, there's alarming things that they're doing very, very fast. Uh, and then, of course, uh, is cyber events, a cyber event that could knock out our grid, knock down our systems, our infrastructure, all sorts of things. Uh, this was another highlighted part uh, we thought was interesting. There are currently 13 mission areas for national security space, combat power projection, command and control, cyberspace operations, electromagnetic warfare, EW, environmental monitoring, EM, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR. Again, we've talked about a lot of these uh, these abbreviations. Missile warning, uh, nuclear detonation detection, or new debt. Uh, positioning, navigation, and timing, space access, uh, mob mobility and logistics, SAML, satellite communications or SATCOM, space domain awareness, SDA, and spacecraft operations. Each uh, mission area is composed of a range of distinctional operational and technical functions that must be performed to, to provide the capability. They also go over war uh, insurance, uh, commercial war risk insurance. War risk insurance is uh, is coverage provided for losses resulting from events such as wars, invasions, in <clears throat> riots, strikes, and terrorism. War risk is insurance is uh, generally available through supplemental clause uh, to an existing standard policy or separate policy. Supplemental clauses are generally limited in scope. So they're 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 actually doing all of the framework to make all of this work. Now, I want to remind you, there was just a House bill seeks to mitigate doomsday EMP outages. Now, the, the headline might be a little salacious, but what they're talking about here is, uh, is, is how they're trying to change things to mitigate all of this EMP risk. Now, a lot of you may have seen uh, Power Up, Grid Down uh, with Dennis Quaid. Uh, Tucker Carlson has interviewed people. They've been talking about it on the Congress floor. Uh, the former president actually signed an executive order to harden our grid immediately, came out of a closed door meeting and said that not only uh, within about a year, you had Space Force and you had, of course, this executive order signed almost immediately after uh, a secretive meeting where they were briefed on something that we don't know. Obviously, we have two North Korea satellites that go right over Kansas. Their position, they believe, purposely there. And then, of course, we have Russia versus UKR. There's uh, news on that that we're going to cover. Uh, Israel and, uh, and Iran. Iran is now uh, threatening to hit, hit us back. We have China and Taiwan. And many believe that almost all of these other subsets of countries, all of them are going to play a part in the future events as well. Uh, Dex, as far as the House bill that seeks to mitigate doomsday 
uh, EMP outages. Do you want to let them know what they were going with that one? Well, this is a representative, I believe it was in uh, South Carolina, and they're pushing to mitigate everything uh, around their uh, capabilities and functionality and protection against uh, EMPs and CMEs. In fact, they said they watched that movie, and that got them more inspired to bring this bill forward. So we'll see where the bill goes. We'll follow it. You know, there's a lot of conversations right now online about some alleged rumors going on about other uh, rapid um, EMP measures being taken around government buildings and, and, and the whatnot. And we do have sources that we can talk to about that. And basically they have been unable to tell us anything because of uh, clearance. So that would lead me to believe that maybe there's something actually happening there. Um, they can't confirm nor deny. Normally they could say, yeah, that's not happening or we haven't heard it. But so, um, well, that and, said, and by the way, let's, let, yeah. I, I guess there uh, has been a rumor for a minute that there is a certain deadline uh, that all of the every building, every government and, and military building needs to be outfitted with this. And this this uh, date is before our next selection process. Now, exactly. The it sounds like the information that's out there is through a game of telephone. From what we know, it's it's not a. Uh, it's not a hundred percent like they, they heard it through somebody that heard it through somebody. Uh, but yeah, like, like Dex said, it sounds like so, there is some truth to that. Uh, it, it very we well could be right now. We don't know what, what is absolute though. We haven't been able to absolutely verify it. Uh, but go ahead, Dex. Um, yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's it. Like that's, that is the important thing to pay attention to, especially when we start to see him come to the light in this case with a, a congressional, um, representative in the state trying to push forward for the state quickly uh, with all the other information, whether it's confirmed or not, that we're hearing with the uh, government uh, buildings or government facilities uh, trying to rapidly produce that uh, result and get that protection put in place. That All of that al aligning with what's been happening with space, what's been happening with Russia, and the alleged launch that triggered everybody to instantly say we have to look into this there's a, a risk of a nuke in space that's going to take out our satellites but never mind the fact that it's actually an emp and and not telling the rest of the public that that's what the the reality is you know there's a lot of a lot of obvious dots you can connect right here and realize the writing on the wall yeah new new debt nuclear detonation uh, detection is one of the big focuses of all of this this so this is the new news it comes out quietly does a press conference nobody covers this stuff uh you have at the same time you've got all of the chatter about the deadline out of nowhere overnight and then of course you have uh the, this story which was not i mean like last month right uh, maybe a month and a half ago january 17th so this is, I wanted to bring this back up because right when I saw this, I thought this is weird. So they are removing uh, legacy barriers to uh, classification barriers that have inhibited our ability to collaborate across the U.S. government and also with allies on issues related to space. Beforehand, if something was labeled top secret or confidential, it had to go through this whole rigmarole and a bureaucratic process for somebody to even see it to even help on the project say they said hey we've got this problem we've got this company that actually has something a technology that can solve it well we have to go through all this whole process we need to go through this thing we need to go through this that it needs to be approved for them to even see it or they need to have the clearance of this they're basically saying they're going to drop things down make it virtually almost almost unsafe to the point where they can get it solved quicker to get this done faster all of these signs are super obvious. You guys are all on track. The rest of the world wants to say it's doom and gloom. It, meanwhile, every step of the way, we've been we've been showing you guys this, and now that it's going to happen, it's so obvious that people are going to go, ah, oh, yeah, I don't know, this is too obvious. Yes, it is. It's right in our face. But yet people go, ah, oh, that's yeah, it's just a distraction, or it's, it's just uh, something to scare us. They have to change. Everything is is falling down the toilet right now. If they are going to switch the entire world system away from gasoline and from the petrodollar and switch over to these new ones that aren't rumors, this, this isn't like a rumored thing that they want. 
everything is trying to go digital. If if that's going to be the switch, and if they are going to take the U.S. dollar, which runs the world, and then take from under it what is actually it, it's uh, connected to, the only thing connected to it uh, left, then something has to reset. Something has to change. Massive changes. So regardless of what you believe about all of these different things going on, there's going to be massive changes and soon. So with this, it's like all of the secretive meetings and then all of a sudden people coming out and go, we need to do something about this. Uh, Not to mention all of the the rumors and the threats against our country that, you know, uh, FBI director is saying that this is worse than 2001, the chatter, all of that. Put that aside. You could put that in the department as distraction or scare or doom, whatever. But as far as the stuff that we absolutely know, there's been these meetings and then all of a sudden they they have put together these programs just like that overnight. Uh, EMP, all of these other things that are going on right now, the solar events that are happening right now, it's solar event after solar event, flare after flare after flare. We know this is happening. It's absolutely getting ridiculous. So which, whichever way path this goes down, you can see the it, it's in writing. It's it's very simple. If you put two and two together, it's like they stagger things a week, and people completely forget them. They're changing the system so they can bring in all these country uh, companies. Now you could say, oh, they're doing that to to bring in their their friends and their company friends. Yeah, that that is also a benefit. All of these companies that are that they're all on the boards and this rotating door from government to big uh, corporations. All of that that's going to be a big thing too. It's going to be a lot of money, a lot, a lot, a lot of money, not to mention all the secret launches that are happening after that launch the uh, couple weeks, a few weeks ago, about a month ago, right after that launch, one of the officials, government officials came out and says, we need to declassify this to the public right now, instantly. We need to tell everybody right now. Of course they didn't. Uh, Now there's more information about it. Basically, they're saying that a nuke is possibly in space and that it is actually a super EMP weapon and it's moving around. So (laughs) I guess let's just wait until the lights go out to figure it out. And then when you get sideswiped in the side of the head by this and you're not prepared, I guess, you know, we're we're not going to be able to tell you we told you so. Uh, Dex, it it is getting pretty crazy out there. And um, again, we'll continue to cover it. Uh, Thank you for your help tonight. Absolutely. Much love. Great job, brother. We've always, we always have a full bibliography over on marfuglenews.com. And if you want to watch our uh, full, uh, a full show on all of the other events going on in the last 24 hours, make sure to click here in the replay. If you're watching it in the morning, uh, there will be a link right there for our regular show. If you're in the chat, just stay there. We'll port you over. Thank you guys. Be safe, be prepared, and Marf out.